What's up? Brian here, aka WWEK Wrestling, and um, this is the kickoff video for a series of tutorials I'm going to be putting out there on YouTube for all the people that want to be a stage animator, all the people that uh, want to know the skills that a lot of stage animators have, but they don't have the skills. And my, my job here is to explain to you how everything is done in a easy easy to understand way so in the first tutorial we're gonna start off with the basics basically there's two programs used in for stage animating um, in most cases it is 3d warehouse and google sketchup and uh, sony vegas 9 10 whatever movie studio um, so now, before anything, I want to let you know that this is, these tutorials are not going to be, uh, well, okay, these tutorials are not going to be, um, they're not going to be tutorials on how to use Sony Vegas. They're not going to be tutorials on how to use Google SketchUp. You know, I'm not, that's not my job here to teach you those purposes. My job is to teach you how to make a good stage. So, uh, I don't, I'm expecting you to somewhat know how to use Sony Vegas, at least the basics. So, uh, yeah. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the basic chroma keying and uh, Sony Va and uh, how to the the good way, the smarter way of importing pictures from Sony Vegas to uh, from Google SketchUp to Sony Vegas. So uh, let's get started. So basically, in the warehouse, the 3D warehouse, Google 3D warehouse. Um, you want to type in whatever in this any kind of stage you want search it there you go click on it in this case slammy awards thank you gary i'm not going to download it yet though um, basically to download the stage click download model and basically click download here or download eight. if it's download to 8 megabytes just click it and then the whole download menu will pop up and there you go you've downloaded it to, to your computer so once that's completed, well, I got some internet problems. Once once that's completed, um, you should have it open in so uh, in Google SketchUp. So in Google SketchUp, you want everything to be blue screened. Okay, I'll quickly show you how to blue screen everything. You want to click the home button. That's where all your textures are and everything. Then have this ink bleed tool, or whatever the hell it's called, and. Uh, click right there basically click anywhere where you want to change the color so actually so here I'll give you an example Let's click on this elation panel right here then it'll bring it right here it'll highlight it in blue double click and change it to whatever color so then it should change everything orange into blue so that's pretty self-explanatory so once you have all the blue screen and everything done blue screen green screen whatever screen um, that's when you want to export as a JPEG and um, Later in later tutorials, I'll explain more advanced ways of using chroma key. Like, n like in one stage, we're not just going to use a blue screen, but we're going to use a green screen as well. But that's in later tutorials. So, file, export, two D graphic. Simple as that. File, export, two D graphic. That's all we need. Click there, save it wherever you want. Done. Now it's saved as JPEG. By the way, wait, make sure as a 2D graphic it says either PNG or JPEG. So you can choose. I chose PNG. All right. So now once you have that, open up Sony Vegas, and also this little icon right here is importing media for those of you who didn't know. So then you can import the picture of your stage. Okay. So I'm I'm just gonna um, import some kind of random picture from my. So, WrestleMania, oh, wow, okay. Let's import something from Illumination Chamber. Why not? It really doesn't matter what stage you use. Okay, so here's an older image of some of an Illumination Chamber uh, stage that I've done. So, with this, basic chroma keying. Right here, event FX right here. It's that little icon right next to here. Then this little window should pop up. You want to go to chroma keyer, pretty simple, add, and by default it goes to blue screen, but move it to green. Um, but 
in a way you still see like a little bit of brown, green sort of stuff. The easiest way to get rid of that is if you bring it back to blue somewhere where you can see the full green. Then take this tool, the ink, the I don't even know what it's called. I'm just going to call it the ink bleed tool. And tap it on that. Then it should really nicely remove all the green in there. And also you can do a natural green screen, but that's, that's, it's all in, um, your opinion. So there you go, X out of there, and I have everything chroma keyed, which means it's transparent. So if we import some more media, so let's import um, some Titantrons, okay, I'll import Chris Jericho's Titantron, why not? Drag that under, and uh, skip to some kind of area, and then cut it off. So not, now you can see that it's playing in the background. If we just scale that to fit the Titantron, uh, well, I'm stupid, sorry. And scale it right there. There you go. Simple as that. This is rough, obviously. I do a lot better work than that, but um, that's that's all you need to know. That's basic importing from Google SketchUp to, to a chroma key in Sony Vegas. And that's the first step to being a good stage animator. And thank you for watching, and more tutorials are soon to come. This is WBK Wrestling. See you later.